another windy morning, but we are finally at the stage of tiling the back roof, which is really, really nice. So we've got the dry ridge, dry ridge system here. Got all of this. So I'll take you around and show you what it looks like. Here are my flashing kits. What they've done is they've started with these tiles here, up the sides. Doing a tile and a half every other. Then working in from there. Yeah. Coming down, hang on. Let me hop down here. Yeah. Feel the same? Yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, spot on. Yeah. See, look, that's what now I say. No, that's right. That's so. So you know, in the future. That's right now for. Because I, I had to raise them all up. Well, I've done them wrong. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. I got it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Yeah. So you gotta be careful as well, yeah? Yeah. That you don't screw all the way down. You don't screw all the way down. Hmm. Do you go through the metal? Yeah, yeah, it's only soft. I've done it before. It's soft before aluminium, yeah, just yeah. puncture it right through. Yeah. You be very careful. Yeah. yeah. And there's some of this CT1 stuff underneath the lid here to hold it to help it stick down. Then the render is going to come straight down on top. Just in one of the kids' bedrooms, 
the roofers are done for the day anyway there's still a bit more to do you can see the tiles just up there on the ridge they've headed off it's just raining so consistently now it doesn't make any sense they can't can't do anything meaningful right now so yeah we've got this uh got this on flashing kits on on these ones nicely cut round it's a, it looks really nice already actually i'm very happy with what they've done so far taking about half a day i reckon to finish what's left Stephen Jacker at the back here, finishing all this off. See the sun's just starting to come up. A nice day for roofing. That um on there. Here, Tom, mm. all you have to do as well. Yep. Burn them down and stop the tiles popping up more. Ah, okay. So I just want to quickly show you why you need to have the, the V-Lux windows at the same height as the battens of the tile. I forgot to do this one here. I forgot to raise it up. And look, this flashing kit is too high. So you can see it doesn't, it doesn't fit properly. The top will, because I raised the top up, but I forgot about the bottom. And that doesn't fit on there. So all the roofers are here. Ooh. Now that that has been battened up again, when I when this gets pulled up, you can see that sits on there nicely now. Very nice. So that hopefully clarifies the mistake I made before where I didn't have, where I had the V-Luxes on the batten below rather than on the same batten height as the tile. Now you see why I always say, when you do this in the future, you will put the same thickness of a batten. Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. I'd rather you not use your skewer in case you break something near the gable or near the... It's alright. They are very brittle. Yeah.
but then I can come down now. Ventilate to dry ridge system. Okay, another way, I'm getting another way. Done the look, let's see you there again. Yep, perfect. The only thing you do there, try me to do the best you can, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of sticks as well. Um, what sticks? It don't stick. Oh right. Never does. No matter what you do, right? No matter what one you get, never sticks. No, it doesn't. Don't. Do they say it should stick? <laughs> no, it really doesn't stick. Doesn't stick at all, does it? No. Nope. <laughs> what I usually do, I never lie to you, the right spill, none of them sticks, I use the legal sun. Really? Yeah. yeah. Bad point. That is unbelievable how bad that camera, is. I've got to do it and it should be done. <laughs> you get crucified by the viewers on YouTube. Yeah. Seriously. It, never sticks, it doesn't stick, does it? What a joke.
it is. Yes, yeah, you can see. Nice, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Don't pull all the way down they crack. Oh, yeah. They never come off. Yeah, yeah. Never go all the way because they'll reach up the crack. Snap the crack, yeah. That's the most awkward bit, right? That can be. That's why you don't screw them all the yeah. way down. Yeah. It's a, it's a lovely, nice way of living. Yeah, I love it. I've never looked, moved back to another town ever. No, ever. Never ever. Right, so these tiles are insanely brittle. To be honest, they're, they're not great actually, how brittle they are. So what I've done is I've set up this doubled over super quilt. So it's kind of 80 mil of spongy stuff, and then a ladder on top to walk up and down. And just as a temporary fix, I've done this. And it really is temporary, obviously, because it's not gonna look so rubbish as this, with this angle. It'll step in nicely and come down straight, but I've just done it for now, because we do quite a bit of rain in the next few days. And I don't just want this all pouring out the end and all the rest of it. So it, it, this this is a temporary fix. Because what I'll have is I actually have the I'm going to finish the uh, fascia up to here, and then I'll have the guttering, and it will come round the corner and come down on the inside here. 
but equally I'm not doing any of that until all of this has been rendered over so this is just a temporary fix gets us gets us dry keeps it keeps the wet off it and just helps us out a little bit for now but the roofing is done hopefully you found these videos helpful uh, hopefully some of the detailing that you saw around the window veluxes the, the, the flashing kits and how that gets done with the tile hopefully you found that helpful seeing how to put on a dry ridge kit as well i mean steve the roofer he's been doing this for over 40 years now 45 years so what he doesn't know about roofing isn't worth knowing frankly so uh, hopefully you appreciated uh, the skill and the care that he did all of this with and uh yeah see you on the next video